Welcome to Family Experience. It is our hope and desire here at Canyon Creek Project to co-disciple our families together in Christ. We believe that every family needs a space to nurture their relationship with Jesus, as well as connect with other families. This is exactly what Family Experience is. It's a place to realign your heart and your attention on what God is doing for your families through worshiping together. It's also a place to learn about Jesus' love and grace through His Word. And lastly, it's a place to challenge our families in applying those Bible truths to our daily lives. So we welcome you to Family Experience. That's interesting. Let's actually go to the verse. Our Bible verse for today is found in Micah chapter 6, verse 8. And it says, To act justly, to and love to love mercy, mercy and, and to, to walk, walk humbly with your God. Time for our Bible story. This story starts off sad, but it doesn't end that way. Naomi had run into some very hard times. Her husband died, and her two sons died also. This left Naomi and the two women that had married her sons, Orpah and Ruth, to fend for themselves. Naomi needed to start a new life, but she thought she might be too old to do so. She told Orpah and Ruth to leave her and start a new life of their own. They were all very sad, but Orpah eventually did leave. Ruth, on the other hand, refused to do so. Even though Orpah left and Naomi told Ruth to do the same, Ruth saw something in Naomi. She believed that they were meant to be together. Ruth decided she would follow Naomi wherever she went. Ruth told Naomi she would make Naomi's people and Naomi's God her own. It was the right thing to do. The two returned to Naomi's home, where she was from. Once there, it was Ruth's own leadership, as well as following Naomi's lead, that allowed them to find a new life together. Ruth took the lead by choosing to stay with Naomi, even after Orpah left. Ruth also took the lead by following someone worth following. Whenever you feel like you don't know who you can trust or who you should follow, remember Ruth and remember this. God gives me leaders I can follow. I really couldn't have even done or begun to plan this huge project without my wonderful parents. I had a plan, but they helped me to do it. They are the ones who kind of planned it all, but I followed them. I'm really happy that we have people like parents, teachers, friends, and family who can help us. God gives me leaders I can follow. So friends, we cleaned this place up for everyone to be able to play. Hmm, maybe we should open the park with a make-believe parade. I'll get it started over here and you keep it going over there. Just get in line and march and sing and dance. <laughs> for taking the lead with me this week. I love getting to grow with all of you. Bye! <laughs>